Hey everybody, thanks for coming along for the live video. In this video, we're going to have a look at some really cool miniatures from Hayland Terrain. And you've probably seen some of these already here on the channel. And as I've been putting out the different videos and content for Population Z, and this guy comes up a lot, this rowdy Roddy Piper, one of the miniatures that I use as one of the survivors in the game. So in this live video, I thought it'd be fun to go through and introduce you to a load of miniatures that I've been sent by Halen Terrain. And we're going to be collaborating on a new series. So each week, I'll be bringing out some new survivors and introducing some rules for them. So we're going to be using all the models from the Halen Terrain Survivors range as part of that series. So I thought it'd be really fun to just kick that off and just unbox them with you. So I've got tons here to look at. I put together three so far out of this, literally hundreds, but I put together three and base them and I'll do a little dry brush on there so you can see the details up close and just see how good these miniatures are. But I've had them a while. I've got a bunch that I painted up already and here's the seven of them. So I bought these years ago, uh, maybe like two, two, good two years ago. And yeah, got them painted up for Population Z. Fantastic models, all metal, which I'm a big fan of. So I really like the metal miniatures. So there we go. Hey, Slacker, thanks for joining us. Great to see you here. There's one of the miniatures there. So we're going to look at pretty much the survivor range, tons of models. We'll go through all the bags, get them out, have a close up look and then see if we can recognize them. And yeah, have you got any ideas of who they are? Let us know in the comments. And if you've got any questions as well, add those in the chat too. That'd be awesome. And I'm going to be using these for Population Z, but you can use them for any tabletop skirmish game. It doesn't have to just be for my one. And they're going to be great for zombie games, modern warfare, all sorts of things. And also, Halen Terrain have got their own zombie game coming out. It's called Skirmish Rages. And here's one of the first starter sets that they put together, which looks fantastic. I haven't opened it yet, but the packaging looks great. And this is going to give you a game in a bag with some survivors some zombies rules sheets basically everything you need in this really handy little bag you tear it open if emergency rip it open and you're ready to go so i think this is a fantastic idea can't wait to show you this i'll do a video separately where we get this out and you can have a look at all the contents but i guess let's get started and we've seen all the painted ones already and i'll show you these ones first before we start having a look at the basket full and these are going to be some of the survivors. This will be the first one I do some rules up. You'll probably recognise this character from The Walking Dead. It's based on it. All the names are different. Obviously, this is called Michelle by Halen Games. And this one comes with these two zombies who don't have any arms. So they're really good little matches with the, the series. So I put those on some little smaller bases and her on the bigger one. And I think it'd be fun to come up with some kind of rules that are going to fit in specifically for these miniatures. So that's going to be fun. But great models. I primed these with some dark grey paint. I put two coats on, then I'll seal them in with, uh, what do I use? Storm, the storm host, not storm host. What's it called? The, the sealer. And then that seals it in and protects it. I can't remember the name. It's just completely lost me. And then what I'll do with that then is dry brush it in white and then paint it with the different layer paints or contrast. But great models, really fun to paint up. And then she'll join all these other painted ones. But let's get some open. We'll have a look. I'll dip in, grab a bag at random, and we'll get these open. So the whole bunch they've sent are all metal miniatures. And some of them are going to need a bit of assembly. Some of them come fully formed all in one piece. So we're going to get a bunch of them. Here's one. You're going to recognize that the Las Vegas style Elvis with an Uzi. And one of the great things about all these different characters, they've all got different weapons. So for games like Population Z, where putting them together and building their weapons is a major part of the game. And then having all the different weapon options as well built into it. This is going to be perfect for these different miniatures. Here we got this guy with his baseball bat and a gun. Looks a lot like Negan. Really well done. Hopefully you can see it. The detail of it coming through. Is that clear enough? Let me bring the... I'm going to open the video up on my screen. I can't actually see the, the comments until they pop up. Let's open that up on my 
computer as well. There we go. And we've got all different ones. Just loading up the video. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Can you see that all right? That's crisp enough. Nice. You've got Charlie Chaplin. So these would all be kind of characters I guess you would see in Las Vegas in the strip there. Nice. So there's a big bunch. And all these are going to be so fun to come up with different stories for and come up with scenarios to play out in the game as well. So and when I do the video each week for the Survivor of the Week, I'll do like their rules and then publish that on the website as well. Rock Muncher, is this the company that makes all those? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they do all the different horror ones. So I've got some of the horror models. Here's two that I've got painted up, the clown and the ghost. Yeah, exactly the same company. So really nice models, 28 mil, brilliant. So these are going to feature in the game too. This is going to be for one of the scenarios in the core book, actually. So I'll get him painted up. And then this is one my son wanted to put together. So we've got a little story coming up for this guy too. So yeah, they do all the horror ones, which is perfect. The zombies are fantastic that they do as well, some character ones. But we're focusing on uh, on the survivors now. I'm sure we'll get some zombies later on, though. In fact, there's going to be a bunch of zombies in here, for sure. And they do the German plastic zombies. Yeah, I think so. I haven't bought or got any of their plastic miniatures yet, but I believe they do. Yeah, they've got a massive selection of zombies. All right, here we go. This one's fun. This is all like Wizard of Oz. So you've got a, a little take on Toto. This is a kind of mascot, it looks like. So that would be fun for zombie games. You may have seen the Easter little mini scenario one shot that I put together with the mascot, which was the Easter bunny. But this would be perfect in a thing like that. And then Dorothy, all the main characters. There's that one. I'm just going to go through this quite quick. Because there's loads in here. It's just full. <laughs> it's so fun. Cool, right, let's get this open. But these are going to be perfect. There's so many different games you could play them in. They'd be great for modern warfare games. And I've actually got a new game coming out this week. I was hoping to have launched it yesterday, but it's not quite ready on Amazon. But if you want a sneak peek, head over to my website and you can have a look. But I'll be launching it properly later on once it goes live on Amazon. It's on most of the, the sites except for Amazon code.co.uk which hasn't gone live yet but as soon as it does then um, all the videos will be coming out so that's going to be great fun but these miniatures are going to be perfect not just for the zombie games but also for any of those modern warfare games too you can use them as like like this guy would be perfect as an npc he looks almost like a resistance kind of fighter not sure what they're from though which actual movie or game because a lot of the survivor characters on the Halen terrain website are all based on like movies and Cult figures. Nice. Let's grab this one. Oh, here's... So this this one is this guy. So this is the one I bought ages ago, all painted up. There we go. So you can see that this is a good one to get a good idea of the detail, actually. Nice. Who's next? Let's go. So this is going to be quite a chill video. It's going to take my time, get them all out, give you a good look at the different ones. But if, again, if you've got any questions or you want to look at one in particular, just let me know. We can focus on it a bit more. Are oh, these two are from Pulp Fiction? How cool is that? Nice. And then we've got some here that look like the Walking Dead characters. I'm going to run out of room soon. I'm spreading them all around here. And who's, oh, this one's fun. This one is, in fact, I can get the page up for this one. I think this is one of the Santas. And uh, he's got the different guns. Shotgun. He's got the rifle. He's got a backpack with axe, crowbar, all sorts in there. That'd be a good one to do a little scenario for as we get closer to Christmas. There we go. 
Who's next? Who are these? Do you recognise those? You can see them all on their website. They've got like six different pages. I've got them open, but I'm trying to find out each one. It's going to be a bit tricky as we go through. Any guesses who that could be? And then we've got the... That looks... Is that Highlander? He's got his sword a little bit bent. Is that Highlander? No, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. Here's another one. Now, these are good ones. This one, so we got like the flamethrower. Brilliant. I love having all these different weapon options. All different characters. Nice. Oh, these two. I think these are the Tom Berenger character from Sniper, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it is. They'll be great for the new Modern Warfare game. That game, by the way, is called Rogue Warriors. So, yeah, if you want to find out more, it's on the website. And I put some blog posts that just tell you about the different rules. And also, you can actually get the PDF now if you want to have a look at it. And the, uh, the print book in many regions. Just the UK I'm waiting on to it till I can officially launch. Ah, here we are. This one. Are oh, these two I've built already. Machete. Here he is. So there you go. Here he is all put together and painted up. And I, all I've used on these is the, the dark grey paint, just like I did here. Dry brushed it in the white and then contrast paints. And I haven't done anything else on them. But I want to go back to them and go into a bit more detail. Do some layer, layers and some highlights later on but contrast paints is perfect because these are so fun to play just like this but if you want to go back to them later no reason why you can't go back to them in a few months time even and just spend a little bit more time adding some more layers to them there's some other characters that's a good one so this is cool when you get one with a couple of weapons so he's got the assault rifle and the pistol now we're getting some melee weapons in here So we've got the bat. Good to get an axe as well. Nice. And the baseball bat. So these could be regular survivors. He looks like he's probably from something, though. He'd be cool as an old veteran in an old people's home, which I've actually got a scenario lined up for. So this character would be perfect for that. Vic the veteran. Nice. That's a perfect model, actually. That's going to be really fun to play that one shot. And in Population Z, you can there's a class or a character class called the criminal and also the serial killer. So you can get rewarded for doing bad things in the game. And so that's going to that's gonna come into a play a lot in that scenario. So that's going to be really fun. And here we've got some soldiers. So this is good. This would be great for the Rogue Warriors game too. Nice selection of weapons, assault rifle, Uzi, bit of a heavy gunner, sniper. And you've got a leader character as well. Brilliant. And I love just getting, when you get the, the models for the miniature agnostic games, it's great to play them in lots of different games. Like I use the, like the different models from different companies for all sorts of different games. And so, yeah, really good to be able to get more use out of them rather than just one system. And that's it. There's two more guys. Yeah, these are going to get used in Rogue Warriors for sure. But also Population Z, because we've got a new campaign coming out later in the year where these will be playing a, a role. So that's going to be fun. Let's keep going. we still got loads. I don't expect this to be a short live stream. I'm just going to take our time, go through it together. Again, if you've got any questions or you want to see anything closer up, just let me know. And if you think of some games these would be good in, add those in the comments too. If there's any skirmish games you're playing at the moment that you think other people would like, I'd love to hear about it. 
These are cool. These would be great for that old people's home scenario too. It's just nice to have some like regular characters with like, he's just got a mop, he's got a brush. I mean, they can be used as weapons in a zombie game for sure. Who have we got here? This one looks interesting. So I'm really happy to be teaming up with Halen Terrain to be doing this weekly series. It's going to be great fun. Yeah, these are like some kind of cult members. Another. So these would be good. You build a little team or a little group of survivors all out of these. That'd be awesome. You've got an axe, shotgun, Uzi, another like sawn off shotgun, RPG and a flamethrower. Real good mix of weapons. Get those as a little set. And you're good to go. And they come with bases as well. You can see they sent me out this massive bag. I like to use these ones. And then you can just glue that on. Really nice. It's nice having this little lip, especially if you use the different, like Vallejo pastes and things, to fill it in like I've done in there. And then you can hide the different metal parts. And also a lot of them have got these little pieces that would go in and you can just trim them off with your clippers or some ply. It didn't even need plies, just use some old clippers and then pop them in. So yeah, nice to have that lip. So they're all going to come with bases. Let's pop these back in here. Let's grab another, here's another big bag. We'll start getting to some movie ones soon, I reckon. go all right so these look like a mixed bag of survivors again all the different weapons you're going to want shotguns assault rifles so this looks like it's a set of eight i might just have a quick look so they've got what they've called z squads so you can get like four matches together so z squad one two three four these kind of might be part of those z squads so that's a good way to make a little saving so, but most of these are going to be around $3.99, $4.99 if you buy them on their own. And then if you get the sets, they're going to be like different prices. Like you can get um, like the A-Team, they're $15.99 for the set of four. So that should give you a good idea of the prices. All right, who should we do now? Ah, this one looks good. Here we go. All right. Oh, this one's great. I was really looking forward to this one. We saw this on the site. And uh, he's got the axe and a shotgun. So perfect to build a survivor for a zombie game. That one's from Highlander, definitely. Looks like the bad guy from it. And then, is that from Kill Bill? I think that's from Kill Bill. And this one might be Big Trouble in Little China, I think. Because you've got the Kurt Russell miniature in this basket somewhere. He's going to come out soon. And that's something I want to do like more of, is recreate different scenes or scenarios from movies. I've built that into Rogue Warriors. And I definitely want to do that with Population Z as well. But with the new Rogue Warriors game, the first narrative campaign is called Tiger Blood. And that's based on pretty much the 1990s movie Navy Seals. So I built a whole campaign around that, which is going to be brilliant to play. And here we go. Yeah, these are great. So these look like the Walking Dead characters too, I think. Coral. Brilliant. I love metal miniatures though. There's something about just the extra weight when you move them around. Really fun. Oh, we got a comment. So look. Hey, Pedro, great to see you. It's only my second time on a live, actually, too. So pretty new. Grab the corals of a Frostgrave. Ah, do you know, I haven't played Frostgrave yet. Weekend Warriors, thanks so much for picking that up. That's awesome. Yeah, these would be great in Weekend Warriors. And Population Z really followed on from the rules of Weekend Warriors, certainly for how you put together your different characters. So you would give them a job, hobby, skill, 
that kind of thing, and then you build up your character. So anything where you can customize weapons, I think these characters are going to be fantastic for that. Loads of different ones here from different movies. This guy we've got painted up, Hobo Joe in Population Z. And his one shot, which is available, and also his character sheet. So you can get him as a survivor sheet. And that's all free, the survivor sheet on our website, if you want to go and have a look. That's what I want to be doing in the future with this new series. So every time I bring out a new survivor, I'll base it on one of these miniatures. And then we'll come up with a little backstory and then the weapon stats and everything for it. And if there's any new weapons, we'll do new weapon cards too. But yeah, Weekend Warriors, this would be great. And what we've kind of done, you're, if you've been following the channel at all, you'll know Weekend Warriors came out a couple of years ago. And then that's what me and my son played when he was like a lot younger. And then as he got a bit older, we started playing a bit more complex rules with Population Z. And now we're playing the more uh, like almost traditional skirmish rules, a bit like Kill Team with Rogue Warriors, where it's a bit more fast paced and... And you've got a lot more um, tactics going on. With Population Z, it's all about story, having fun, solo, cooperative. You could play player versus play, uh, player, but we did it as a co-op game and a solo game predominantly. But with the new Rogue Warriors, that's going to be player versus player. Proper fast game. Oh, this one's great too. Yeah, this dude looks awesome. Two Uzis. And he's got the... Is that an umbrella? It's going to be some kind of club. But yeah, he's perfect. Make a great survivor in the towns or the cities. Got this guy with a guitar. Oh, this is Back to the Future. Yeah, there's Doc. So you've got Back to the Future. Doc and Marty. Nice. Really great characters. He's got a spanner and a gun. Brilliant. Yeah, these would be fun characters to make some rules up for. Then we've got Tomb Raider. The proper game version. And who knows what's in that bag. Could be anything. So we've definitely got a nice selection. There's enough here for this series to go on for three years. <laughs> so it's loads of survivors. It's mad. I was only expecting maybe a dozen of these. And then this box came. It was really heavy. I was so grateful to get them all. It was awesome. So very cool. We've got some more characters here. Another one that would be great to play is Fick the Veteran. Hey, Boo Boo, these are all from Halen Terrain. So we're doing a new collaboration and it's going to be a new series on the channel where each week I put together a Survivor of the Week and that'll be for Population Z. But you can use these in any miniature agnostic game for sure. And so I'm going to be working with them now. And they sent out a load of miniatures for me to use in the series so yeah each week a new character based on them and so, so if you haven't if you've just joined then some of the ones here painted up that i feature in the how to play series for population z these are all from Halen terrain or metal miniatures and the ones i painted the ones i bought a couple of years ago always been a, a big fan of their miniatures old school traditional metal miniatures and they do plastic ones too so definitely recommend having a look at their website. They've got some really fun ones from Monty Python as well on there. But there's all different things. Zombies, survivors, there's different soldiers, characters, monsters, everything. Everything you can think of. Oh, here's Indiana Jones. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we've got a lot. To, to my right, actually, is a shelf full of miniatures that I'm working on. And painting up from some different companies that I've bought in the past, which I'm really looking forward to. We're writing this, all the different stories and everything and working through it at the moment. But yeah, definitely. There we go, India, John. Then we've got John Wick. On his Big Trouble in Little China. Brilliant. Great film. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who they are. Do you recognise those? There we go. We're getting there. We're getting through it. I was trying to think the best way to do this. That's how many are left. 
And so I thought, yeah, I should do a live video. I've only ever done one. And last time I did it, I had the phone the wrong way. And it turns out you have to set the settings before the live thing starts. Otherwise, you can't change it. So I got it right this time from the get-go, which is good. Oh, here we are. His four soldiers. Yeah, these would be great for rogue warriors. Nice little team there. And with rogue warriors, it's miniature agnostic, era agnostic, theatre of war agnostic. And so you, you basically play from World War II up until modern day. And the rules will apply for 28 mil, which is our favourite, but also for anything between 15 and 40 mil. And um, we set ourselves a little challenge with Rogue Warriors to come up with a really fun skirmish game, much like Kill Team, but one that's approachable, easy to learn, but also easy to teach. I found with Kill Team, if you just wanted a quick game with your friends or at the local club and you wanted to introduce someone to it, it just was really like, it just wasn't easy. It wasn't fun and it wasn't intuitive. And it's certainly the line of sight and cover rules in it. It was just weird for some people who've never played a game before to understand. So we set ourselves a challenge. How could we come up with a simple game that would be really fun, but also have a depth of, of tactics? And so that's how we came up with um, Rogue Warriors. So yeah, we love it. It's one of our favourite games actually now. We're playing it all the time. So yeah, very exciting. I can't wait for it to launch officially and tell you more about it. Here's the character here, another Walking Dead one. Nice. Uh, oh, this one is the Rowdy Roddy Piper they live. Oh, here he is, another Walking Dead with and without legs. So you can play all the different ones. Maybe pop a little magnet in there. Who else we got? I don't recognise that one. And that looks suspiciously like someone else from Walking Dead 2. And there's a crossbow to go with him. That's a nice one. So there's two versions. Uh, yeah, there's this one. And then this one, I think, is as the series progress. He's getting a bit more scruffy. Very good. I haven't seen the new Walking Dead season, uh, season yet. Definitely want to get a look at that soon, though. All right, let's get these open. Hey, we're nearly there. We've probably done four fifths, I reckon. Another flamethrower. So that's the third flamethrower so far. Oh, I don't know who that is. Who's that? I don't recognise that one. Oh, just missed that comment. What was that? Let's have a look. Ah, good. Hi, Eric. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's good. That looks like Escape from New York, right? Brilliant. Yeah, it'd be good if uh, the shipping's good for the US. That'd be awesome. I definitely recommend these. Like I said, all these ones I bought a couple of years ago. and And then... We just kind of got talking online and come up with this idea. And then uh, the creator behind the minute just sent out tons of these for me to share and do the series with. So it's going to be really fun every week to come up with a new character based on these. Oh, here we are. Daniel Sun and Mr. Miyagi. Nice. We've got another miniature from the new... Uh, it's not called Karate Kid, is it? Is the series called Karate Kid? My son watches it. I don't watch it. But these are the ones from the movie. And we got another character from the series that we want to make a proper Survivor character for. Awesome. There's a mean looking guy. Don't know who he is. Who's this? That looks like Clint Eastwood. Che Guevara? But the range of models here is just fantastic. There's pretty much everything you could want. If you're building a, a group of survivors, there's all the different weapons. Melee, ranged, everything. Who's this? This looks like a big one. This might be one of those sets where they do, that they call the Z Squad. So you get four survivors for $15.99 per set. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. You've got some big heavy guns, sniper rifle... Shotgun. Nice. 
so you can really quickly and easily get a nice crowd together as well. And some, for something like Rogue Warriors, the, the modern warfare game, you could do, um, well, here's some more survivors. You could do like rioters. There's different levels. Mostly it's aimed at playing four warriors against four warriors. And so nice and quick, quick games, fast, but you can go up against less skilled opponents and then they're going to have more numbers. So you could have four like special ops going up against 12 infantry if you wanted to. But these would certainly be great for that. If you wanted to put together a riot in a city or um, like a cartel or that kind of thing and then go up against them with a spe uh, special operations team. That would be fun. Now, is that Resident Evil? It's got to be, right? There you go. And who's this? Oh, I recognise those. Let's see if you know who these are. You might recognise from those two. Any guesses? It might it might just be a British thing. I'm not sure. There's four of them. Add in the chat if you know who they are. I won't give it away. That's awesome, though. That would be such a fun group. Put those together. That would be great. All right. Okay, we're getting, getting through them. Let's see. All right, so we've got... I don't know who that is. Some of these you just straighten out. There you go. Nice. I don't recognise. These might be a group of survivors too. It's fun just getting stuff like this too, like frying pans in there. Because you could certainly use that as a good zombie weapon. All right, what's left? Should we see? That's the pile to go. I'll drop one. All right. Ah. Who's that? I don't recognise these. Is that a zombie? Could certainly be a zombie, couldn't it? Yeah, Bristol, definitely, Eric. Yep, you're on it. Here we go. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, this one's Rambo, right? And just straighten these up. Yeah, that would be good. That would be fun. Did you ever see the Warlord game set they did for... Oh, Dad's Army. You can get the Dad's Army set. That's They're really good. So we've got Rambo. Genie, I dream of genie. Is that what it's? That's what it's called, right? Um, that looks like another version of Dorothy with the axe. Ah, uh, Bruce Lee, nice nunchucks. So what I like to do is you can get characters like this, and then from a character like that, you can just start thinking up little scenarios, little stories. And the one shots in Population Z I like to use as background. So when I did Hobo Joe, we came up with a little one shot that told the story of him and, and his dog. And so that's really fun. But the, the miniatures just give so much inspiration. All right, who's this? I think. No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that is. I thought it was Walking Dead. The guy from the kingdom, but it's not. I can't put my finger on that one either. Okay, who's next? Let's see. All right, so we've got so set four. These might be those, um, what they got, Z, the Z squad. 
Nice mix. They look a bit like, a bit military, don't they? They look like they belong to something, though, a movie of some kind. But they'd be good to play as NPCs, Population Z, set them up as like a little group, maybe in the town or in the outskirts. And the, the campaign, when we come up with the next one later in the year, is going to be heading out of Huntsville and onto the road. So there'll be lots to encounter there. And you'll be seeing these in the future for sure. Don't recognise that from a film. But that's definitely Walking Dead. Or could be, for sure. Okay, who's next? Ah, this one's fun. You recognise those. One of my favourite zombie films. In fact, that film is how I imagine Population Z would be in real life. And then we've got these two. Ah, th that's who I thought we saw earlier. These are from The Kingdom in Walking Dead. Perfect for that. Huge axe, the battle axe. We just need a tiger. And there is a tiger in Population Z. But I don't have a tiger miniature yet. I have to get that sorted out. All right, we've got four left. Here's a cult classic. This is where one of the earlier films, for sure. Who's this? That looks like Bruce Willis from Die Hard. He's got no shoes and he's got the machine gun. Brilliant. That would be good for Rogue Warriors. That would be a fun scenario. You could do the whole tower, actually, in each level. You go up one, go up a level. Yeah, that would be awesome. And then just go maybe as just one character and see how far you can go. All right. Then we've got this guy. Mad Max style. Really good. And then our final bag. If I can get it open, we can see who it is. I don't recognise them, but they look great. Look like a real proper pair of survivors. Got the cloak, got the pouches, shotgun, assault rifle. Really cool. And that. Oh, say, oh yeah, say from He-Man. Yes, that would be perfect. Nice. Good idea. Thanks for that. That's great. Awesome. So that's it. That's all the miniatures then. We've had a look at them up close. And now these are going to form that new series that I'll be doing and it's as a collaboration with Halen Terrain. So really looking forward. Each week, you're going to see these starting to be put together, built up, painted, and then they'll come out with rules for Population Z. So if you head over to my website, you'll see on the Population Z tab, if you click on that, it scrolls down and then there's uh, different survivors. So they're free PDFs. And then once you've clicked on that, at the moment, you've got Bubblegum, Ella and Hobo Joe. And so this is Bubblegum, that's Hobo Joe. And that's what I'm going to be doing for these. So if you're wondering what I'm going to be getting up to with these, I'm going to be creating those different PDFs. Bases larger than the zombie bases. Yeah, so I use I use these. Let me grab a ruler. I'm using these ones, which are the twenty eight mil. And so I I tend to use those for my survivors. Some of them are, are smaller, and then like for these zombies, these are on a a 25 mil base. So most of my zombies are on 25. The special zombies or the main characters, like the clown, he's also on the, the bigger 28 mil base. But it doesn't matter for the rules purposes. It doesn't matter what size they're on. I just like this. I like the, the curved edge and I like the little lip to put that Vallejo paste in as well. 
So, yeah. But yeah, it works nice. So I think 28, 30, 32 even, but 28's cool. I think for the 28 millimeter miniatures, having the 28 mil bases just seems to like not look too big. Once you start going a bit bigger on some of these skinnier characters, it can be uh, a little bit chunky. But yeah, I really like that. I think it makes them stand out enough in, in amongst all the zombies for sure. But there we go, that's it then. So come and join me each week. I'll probably be doing a short video and that short video will introduce you to the model and then it'll just give you a quick look at the PDF and then I'll put a link in that that'll take you to the website and the website will be where you can download it for free and there'll be links to Halen Terrain where you can get all the miniatures you've seen here as well. So I'll put those links in this video and also when I do the shorts and the PDFs as well going forward. And like I said, there's enough here for three years of survivors. So there's going to be loads coming in the future. We're going to keep bringing out new campaigns, new one shots and things for Population Z and then Rogue Warriors, the same thing. And we've also got the fantasy game coming out later this year in the summer. And so, yeah, brilliant. And then a sci-fi game after that. And then once we got there, that's the games we've been working on for the past few years, really. It's just now this is the year to bring them all together, actually get them out into the world and then start producing all the expansions and the fun one shots and missions and campaigns and things for them, which is what I love doing. So really excited about that. And uh, also be doing more on the maps. So if you like drawing maps, I've got the map videos coming up soon where I'll be finishing that series, taking you through how to produce a map for your fantasy game, just like the maps we use in Lunaria Chronicles. There we see. Ah, oh, cool, yeah. So you use the same sizes. That's great. Yeah, that's really good. And yeah, it's a lot of painting. It is a lot of painting. I, I'm going to do these in batches. I'll probably do a video of them each week so you can see the models up close, see the rules for them. And then I'll just I'll just batch them every few weeks. I'll do a bunch. And so I, I tend to do it normally. And um, yeah, sometimes I'll do one model at a time, but most, most of the time I'll just batch them all up. Do they use the same? Oh, no. So the, these games are going to be slightly different. So for Population Z is the co-op and solo game. And for that, I wanted something that really focused on the story and the narrative and you can go really deep in it, play it on your own or, or with your friends. And so those rules are based on Weekend Warriors. So it's like Weekend Warriors has grown up and you've got a lot more rules and depth to it and also a story to play alongside. And then for Lunaria Chronicles, the fantasy game, that's going to be a solo co-op game as well. So that's going to be very similar, the way you build your... Um, party of adventurers that's going to be the same but we're going to introduce magic to it so there's going to be another level so that'll be quite a deep game you're going to have much like you've got with population z you're going to have npcs it's going to be focused on playing against the game big influence from like dungeons and dragons if you like the the fighting part of it it's almost like taking the fighting part from dungeons and dragons and then applying population z rules to it and introducing magic and tweaking it so that, that's going to be really really exciting really fun and then rogue warriors is a, a full-on player versus player predominantly shooting game although there is melee combat as well but it's, it's more shooting a lot quicker a lot ta more tactical if you like kill team and war cry and games that are a little bit quicker then you're going to like uh, rogue warriors and then the sci-fi version of Rogue Warriors is going to be very much the same as that. So there's going to be two different paths we go, really. One is solo and co-op, where it's all about really building on the story, you go deep, and the games are, are meant to be played like with friends or on your own, or, and then you play it like slower, and then you've got the fast-paced, action-packed skirmish games as well. So we've got two different ways to go in. So that's the plan going forward. And then each game system is going to have expansions and one-shots coming out every every month to support it so the game is going to grow alongside so with rogue warriors it's a lot it's a shorter book uh, population z was 140 pages whereas rogue warriors is 40 pages and that's it you've got everything you need in there you can learn it really quickly really quick and easy to teach other people to play and you can be playing it in no time it's really fast to build your team of warriors for each mission 
uh, but there's a lot of depth to it. So how you put those that team together, it can be completely different from one game to the next. And I've also included a mission builder in that where you can make literally thousands of different missions from this mission builder, which is just two pages. And so that's really good. You've got like a table with loads of information. I'll show you it once it comes out later this week and I do the proper launch for it. Uh, you'll you'll see it. But the idea with Rogue Warriors and the sci-fi version is it's a lot simpler, quicker to start, easy to teach and more action-packed. And Population Z and Lunaria Chronicles, more slow-paced, sit around for the evening and you really get stuck in with the story. And you can even role-play in it if you wanted to, like you would with D&D. &D. You could certainly bring that into Lunaria Chronicles 100%. So yeah, it'd be fun. Sounds like sci-fi. Warcry. Yeah, it's a bit more, it's it's more towards Kill Team, I would say, than Warcry. But it's not as wordy as Kill Team. <laughs> so it's not like reading through a contract or anything like that. It's very straightforward. So yeah, line of sight rules are very nice and, and simple. In fact, they're going to be very similar to Population Z. Line of sight, can you see the the target you want to hit and then you've got light and heavy cover nice and simple really intuitive and it just works so and it's fun but yeah but yeah they're definitely influences of war cry but the rogue warriors is more i would say towards kill teams so if you like kill team and the shoot inside of the games rogue warriors you're gonna love it yeah great fun i think that's it though that's cool so we've gone through all the, the miniatures thanks so much for watching it's going to be really fun next few months. Lots going on. I've been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks as I've been getting Rogue Warriors ready and getting that out there. But now we'll get back to the videos. I've got a ton of cool stuff to show you, uh, including the starter set from Hail and Terrain Skirmish Rages. So if you want another zombie game, this is going to be a great option, I think. It's got everything you need in the bag. Cards, tokens, survivors, dice, zombies, and a book. And they've got their book as an A5 book which I think is a really cool idea. I like the smaller books, so I'm really interested to get this open and have a look through. But I thought I'd do it on camera. So it's been stapled shut here, but I haven't opened this yet. So yeah, I don't know what to expect apart from the pictures on the back. So really looking forward to getting that open. I've also got some other games to look at, including Clash of Steel, some more Infinity miniatures, Aliens, the game as well. That's going to be really fun. Uh, there's a new tank game coming out from Warlord Games that I'll be featuring. And I've got a box of cool stuff, which I'll be unboxing tomorrow. And this is from Stonebeard's Forge. So this is a, a 3D printing service, but they've linked up and collaborated with another independent creator who makes the files. They do the printing. And I thought, why don't we all do a three-way collaboration and I'll show off the products too. So this is another indie company that I'm really keen to show off. And this is all scattered terrain and, and small pieces of terrain that you can use in games like Population Z and your modern warfare games too. So that's really fun. Look out for that tomorrow. That won't be live. I'll do a normal recording for that one. But I thought the live video would be perfect to get all these um, packed in slow time and just talk through it and catch up with, with you. So yeah, great. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hope you liked the video. Hope you're excited as I am about everything to come over the next few months. It's going to be a real fun year, productive year, finally getting those projects out and into the world. So, yeah, really excited. But thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Now I just need to see how to stop going live. All right. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot.